And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing as a Death Slinger. We're here on the rancid abattoir of the Coldwind Farm. And we are running the add-on, the Iridescent Coin, by request. Uh, that add-on allows you to down somebody and make someone exposed if you hit them within 15 meters or uh, beyond 15 meters with your chain. But let's be honest, we're not terribly good with our chain uh, at distances that aren't 15 meters. So how are we gonna do here? Uh, this is a little sketchy for us, perhaps. Might have a better chance of doing these envelopes. You grab that envelope now. Cause here's the thing. We have trouble hitting short shots. Never mind, long shots. I mean, we can do that, though. <laughs> I believe that Nia was not really paying attention. And see, again, we have trouble hitting basic shots with Death Slinger. And that's a... Where'd she go? Oh, she ran back. That's a pretty basic shot. I mean, if you're not gonna, uh, yeah, if you're not gonna, if you're not going to leave the pallet, I will do that. All right, let's get a scourge hook. Awesome, that doubles as an event hook. Two people in the building. Hello, Yui. God, that's taken so long to, like, scope you off. Come here, Yui. All right. Hey, we have another scourge hook right over here. Let's throw you up. All right, there's the fang. We know where everybody's at. Not really getting any iridescent coin value, but... Oh, you dropped that quick. Uh, we should have just taken the shot. Again, that's where we're just not... Hey, where'd you go? Is that head on, Fang? All right, we have a scourge hook. No scourge hook. We're gonna have to take the event hook. There's the uh, tap. He's full health. If we can get him with a long shot. Oh, that's it. That's it. Tap, my man. One shot down, buddy. Have a seat. Iridescent coin value. Baby. Again, be nice if we get you to a scourge hook, but I don't think we would have made it. Alright, 
Where did that one come from? All right. All right, we're going to get rid of this. add-on to reduce our terror radius. We see them moving. We hide behind this tree. Oh, might have been too far for that. All right. We know Taff went that way. We're not going to harass him. We are going to check these gens over here. <laughs> yeah, we found ourselves a fang. Let's eat the pallet. Somebody rebooned. Well, and all of a sudden we're down to one gen. That's a bit of a problem. That's a bit of a problem. We also didn't break this out. They are booning up like crazy. They are also powering through this last gen. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Why did he come down here? Yeah, we know you're up on the hill. Let's shed some stacks. That's a bad shot. Here's the problem. We uh, we're never gonna get her to a scourge hook. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. We saw scratch marks. Unfortunately. That's the last gen. All right, Bunny. <laughs> That's what I have to do. All right, somebody at that gate. All right, we scared her off at least, right? See if we can 
get somebody going back for the fang. Is anyone gonna come back for you, Fang? No. Oh, that's a problem, Tap. That would be a problem, my man. That's a little save the best for last coming into play right there. This is only your second hook, right? Oh, Nia! Oh, Nia! That's a one hit down, Nia. Oh, Nia, one hit down. Iridescent coin coming in clutch. Iridescent coin coming in clutch at the end. As we will get a two, uh, 3K iridescent coin value. Absolutely. So we said we are not always the most accurate shot with Death Slinger. And we did miss a couple shots in that match that we should have hit that were shorter range. And there were a couple shots we should have taken that we didn't take. But all things considered, we, we, we got some value out of it. And with Death Slinger, I mean, sometimes you're going to have the opportunity to take those long range snipes. But it's not necessarily in your best interest to do that. Uh, we were running the add-on to lower our terror radius by a little bit, but since they buffed, uh, buffed, since they nerfed uh, Deathslinger's terror radius from 24 meters up to 32 meters, it's not like you can run monitor to, to basically get within the, the distance of the iridescent coin, which is actually 12 meters. It used to be 16, but it was reduced to 12. I may have said 16 earlier in the video. So 12 meters, that's a hittable shot, but... You know, it's not always a shot you want to be taking because the time it's going to take you to reload is going to give them an opportunity to get more distance. You really need to be a good shot with Deathslinger to, to run this add-on and get consistent value out of it. We're not a great shot, but we did nail the tap at over 12 meters early in the match, downed him with one shot. Uh, we ended up getting the tap on his second hook, which turned out to be his death hook, using save the best for last, coming through in the clutch there, and the Nia who was by the exit gate and ready to get out without the iridescent coin, we would have hit her. And in the time it would have taken us to, to clean our weapon and even to possibly reload, even with save the best for last, if we wouldn't have reloaded, she probably would have scampered out the exit. But in this case, iridescent coin coming through clutch at the end as we down the Nia in one shot to make her our third kill of the match. So that's Iridescent Coin, and what it can do if you're a good Death Slinger and you have good aim, not a bad little add-on to run, especially to give you a little bit of fun and definitely a surprise for those survivors. Hope you enjoyed the round. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button while you're here. New videos go up on a daily basis, and you can follow us over on Twitch at Geriatric Gaming 11 and get notified whenever we go live there. Till the next time, thanks again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.